Uh, so, of course, you're coming back now, uh, after the week off, of course, before that, splitting the weekend with the number 12 team in the nation, now looking to take on Northern Michigan. Kind of, what are your thoughts looking into this upcoming weekend? Uh, we're excited, you know, to, to be back uh, playing hockey, uh, especially home at Slater Family Arena. Um, it was nice to, to clinch home ice for the, for the first round of the playoffs while we were off last weekend. Uh, but I know the guys are excited to, to play in front of our home fans and, and celebrate our seniors this weekend. Uh, looking at Northern Michigan, of course, the last time you guys played them um, earlier this season, you split the weekend with them, but now they've kind of fallen off a little bit in the CCHA, uh, kind of fallen down into, I believe, sixth or seventh place right now. But one of the most aggressive teams physically in, in the league. So what are you looking at with that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. Um, it, I don't know that it's ever happened where we played them the very first week of the season, which is normally non-conference series but but we they did us a favor and, and allowed us to move the games to the first week and now we play the very last week so lots of time in between for for both teams to to have some changes um, but they were picked to finish second in our league they're uh, a very talented team they can score uh, you know last weekend's certainly uh, proves that they can score they had 17 goals on the weekend um, they've got a, a lot of talent offensively um, they've got to be feeling good about themselves you know, for us, it's, you know, the series up there was a good series uh, and, and was a good weekend for us. And, uh, you know, they're, they're playing for something at this point in the year. Uh, they could finish as high as fourth. Uh, we know that we can't go lower than fourth, so, uh, but we're playing for stuff too. So it'll be, it should be a, a, a really entertaining series with a lot of offensive talent, you know, two of the top three scoring teams in the league. And um, it, it, it'll be, uh, we'll have our work cut out for us for sure. And recently in this season, we've seen the Falcons moving more towards that kind of speed lines out on the ice. We're looking more towards that again against Northern Michigan, or are you going to see a little bit more physically aggressive man at, on the at, at this point, we're, we're trying to play, um, you know, a lot of it depends on our, our health and who's available. Um, and, and we're trying to play, we feel like at the end of the year and in the playoffs, you have to play a certain way because it just gets, gets harder. And especially when you're, you're, you're looking at the, the quarterfinals and the CCHA being uh, best of three series, you know, so you could potentially play the same team three nights in a row. And so we know how hard that is. And, and most of the games are close and low scoring. So uh, we want to be, we want to stick to our, our identity and, and, and do things the way we, we've been doing in this second half. And, um, but I, I think you're going to see, you know, we want to be aggressive. We want to get after teams. We want to be disciplined. We want to try to create offensively if we can with, without um, getting away from being in, in, in a good position defensively. So uh, hopefully you'll see more of what we've been doing the second half. How much do you guys just feed off the home, the home crowd? I mean, obviously the student section is <laughs> obviously very energized. Home crowd is energized. You know, do you guys think about that during the game, notice it? Just how much does that fuel you guys? I know the players really, really enjoy it. They look forward to playing in front of the student section. They want the, the crowd to be engaged. Uh, you know, we, we've said this before with some of our opponents coming in even. They, they, we believe that, that they enjoy playing here because of the crowd, right? They might not have the same type of crowd in their home games. And, and so for them to, to come down here and play in front of our fans, we think is exciting. Very similar to what we had last weekend in, in Houghton. You know, it was a great crowd you know, playoff type atmosphere and, and really good crowd for Winter Carnival. And that was fun for everybody. So our, I know our guys are excited. Uh, you know, you got, you got a lot of stuff going on. We're, we're celebrating our seniors. Scott Hamilton's going to be in town. Uh, the Six Sick, you know, they're going to be unmasked and stuff like that. So uh, a lot of reasons for our guys to be excited to play in front of our crowd. And, and, and like you said, our, our crowds this year at Slater Family Arena have been outstanding. The student support's been great. The, the band in our building is great. Uh, the, the community support's been awesome, so we're, we're excited to, to finish the regular season out at home. How have you guys uh, handled adversity, especially that of their state series and then transitioning to a really tight Michigan Tech series? Yeah, you know, we, what we're trying to do the second half is not, not dwell on things that happened mm -hmm. that are over that we can't control. Um, there's no question that the, the Ferris State series for us from a, a winning and losing perspective was disappointing. We would have loved to have gotten more than one point in that series. Um, we did some good things in the series when we went back and looked at the video and, and looked at the things that, that we value in a game. We, we did a lot of positive things. Unfortunately, uh, Fair State did a lot of good things too and their goalie did a lot of good things. So um, 
you have to move on, you have to learn from it, and, and to our guys' credit, uh, we went up to Michigan Tech, a really good team, like you said, the number 12 team in the country, a really difficult environment, sold out crowd at, at McGinnis Arena up there, and, and our guys played well all weekend long. We, uh, we, we played really good Friday and, and, and won 5-2, to two and, and Saturday was a, a tight game all the way to the end, so uh, our guys have handled that adversity and responded to it, and, and our hope is that we, we pick right up where we left off uh, from when we played in Hope, we pick right up where we left off on Friday. With having last weekend off, obviously, just how important will it be to come out with a lot of energy right away on Friday and, and you know, just really focus? Yeah, it, you know, that's the, we feel like mentally uh, the week off was, was positive for our guys and, and did them some good because they were able to just, you know, come to the rink and, and work out and skate and then they could, you know, go worry about school and, and take care of that stuff without having a, a, a series to worry about. And and so, it. But the the thing you worry about as a coach is: Are you going to be rusty? You, you didn't play that, you know, the, the weekend prior, so you need to be ready to go right away. Because we're playing a team that was obviously ready to go last weekend, and and is feeling confident. So uh, that that first five minutes of the game on Friday is going to be important for us to be ready to go and on our toes, and and because uh, we expect Northern Michigan to be ready. Anything on Zoom, Peter? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, last week, obviously, Northern Michigan scored 17 goals. Uh, six of them were on the uh, power play, two short-handed, but a lot of them were scored on second-chance opportunities. Is this a, a good challenge for your team, for team defense heading into this series and also towards playoffs? Yeah, you, you know, Peter, you're going to have to defend in, in the playoffs. Uh, there aren't a lot of 7-6 or 9-8 playoff games. You know, most of them are low-scoring. Um, and you're right, uh, watch both games this weekend in, in the Northern Michigan Fair State Series. And, uh, you know, they scored the two shorthanded goals and one, uh, one power play on Friday night. And then and they had, you know, their power play all weekend was really good. So special teams are going to have to be ready to go because they're very good on special teams. And, and they do have some really talented offensive players. And you're right, they had, you know, they scored goals from tips. They scored goals off the rush. They scored goals shorthanded. They scored goals... On the power play, they, they scored goals um, in nice individual one-on-one -on -one efforts. So there's there's a bunch of things we need to do defensively, and, and we, we've tried to talk about that this week with our guys, saying that um, you know this is might be as difficult a series as we've had in a while in terms of having to defend talented players all the time. They, they've got a, a lot of talented kids who, who can make plays, and uh, like you said, they, they scored in, you know, when you score 17 goals, it's just not one way. Uh, they scored in pretty much every way possible last weekend. So it'll be a, a really good opportunity for our guys to defend. Well, discipline has to be a factor, too, because you've got guys like uh, Dantos, for example, who's great at getting under uh, under the skin of guys, especially being both short two-game series. Is that something you're addressing as well? Yeah, we, we told our guys we're going to need to be disciplined because they do have some players that, uh, that, that are certainly – not afraid to stick their nose in there and, and, and maybe antagonize some, some players a little bit. So we're going to need to be aware of that. And, and, and if those things happen, we can't be surprised by it. We have to be prepared for it. Okay, good. And obviously boxing out in front of your own net is huge this weekend with, uh, you know, the way they love to crash in that again, try to get in Stover's kitchen and all that. Yeah, they've got a, a, more than a few guys who, who do a really good job at the net front. You know, I want to say, you know, of the, they, they probably had three or four goals from the front that were tipped this past weekend. And, you know, it seemed like they always had somebody standing in front of guys, Brecht, and, and making his life difficult. So we, we need to be prepared for that and make sure we're, we're, uh, we're doing a good job in front of our own net. And, and the best way to do that is to, is to, you know, eliminate time and space and, and not be in your end as much as possible. If we can, if we can, you know, spend more time in the other end, that certainly is a, is, is a good recipe for us. Well, it's not going to be a good challenge, and, uh, you know, depending on how things go, possibly a uh, first-round playoff matchup as well for you. So. Yeah, you, 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 well, it'll be interesting to see how things all shake out after the, the last game on Saturday, but, uh, yeah, they could be, we could play, play four times in a row here. You, you never know. Yeah.